Hi guys, this is the Innovative Mind Tutor. Well, in this video, guys, we are going to look at um, June Paper 1, 2022. Yes, in our previous video, we learned about um, how to find first principle. We also learned about how uh, the differentiation. Then our upcoming video will be mostly about um, the application of calculus. But today we are looking at differentiation. Yes, uh, the ex uh, typical exam questions. Yes, as you're preparing for your paper 1, uh, June uh, 2024. Right. If you're new to this channel, what are you waiting for? Kindly subscribe. You only subscribe once. And thank, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Let's keep winning. Right. Without wasting time, let's get to today's video. Firstly, guys, we are, we are given... Um, they said, determine the derivative of f of x if f of x is equal to negative 2x squared plus x, and that's 5 max. Um, from first principles. Hmm. From first principles. So, meaning that we are going to use that formula. The, the famous formula derivative which is equals to limit as h approaches zero limit as h approaches zero okay okay so we know f at x plus h minus the given function hmm. divided by h then the second step will be to substitute We'll have to substitute, guys, meaning that where we see x, we're going to replace it by x plus h, isn't it? So let's go. Where we see x, replace it by x plus h squared plus x plus h, right? Minus the given function, which is negative uh, 2x squared plus x, right? Then, yes, don't forget that when you're substituting f at x plus h, where it is x, replace it by x plus h our second step will be limit as h approaches zero hmm. okay so from here we need to rake out the brackets actually what are we going to have we are going to have uh, x squared plus 2xh where do i get uh, 2xh 2 times h times x that's 2xh then square the last term which is h squared then plus x plus h then this negative will multiply everything that is inside the brackets negative and negative that's going to be positive 2x squared negative multiplied by x that's going to be negative x okay divided by h then this let's continue simplifying the brackets here to make our life easier so what are we going to have negative 2x squared remember that this 2 multiplies everything that is inside the bracket um, we're going to also have negative 4xh and negative uh, 2h squared plus x plus h plus 2x squared minus x divided by h. Okay, this is the path. Uh, let me just delete this, this intense space here. No? So we need to find the like terms. Collect the like terms. Where are the like terms? We have 2x squared. We also have uh, 2x squared as our like terms. So what are we going to have? We're having um, negative 2x squared as well as positive 2x squared there. So we should add those like terms. Therefore, what are we going to do? Right? We have negative 2x squared plus 2x squared. That will give us zero. So meaning that these two will cancel each other. Then what are we left with? Again, do we have other like terms here? Hmm. Yes, we do. We have x as well as x. So what is x uh, minus x? That's zero. So this and this, they are out. So what are we left with? We are left with, um, we are just left with negative 4xh minus 2h squared plus h. Right, so okay. Let's put that into practice. So we have um, negative 4xh minus 2h squared plus h. So yeah, 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 yeah. We are going well, doing well. Uh, okay. Mm -hmm. 
so divided by h so what we could do guys is to take out uh, the highest common factor in this case if don't forget that you, you keep going with your limit limit is h approaches zero yeah uh, sorry for that it's because of my space a lack of space there so let me if let's take out uh, the highest common factor so remember here it's 4xh right so take out uh, h as the highest common factor since it's common then we're left with 4x here to get to 2 h squared we'll be left with 2 h to get to um what do we call this h we're left with positive one because h times one will be h divided by h this will get rid, you know, rid of each other so don't forget limit as h approaches zero then hmm what are we left limit as h approaches zero we are left with uh 4x is it negative yes it was negative here yeah. it was negative 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 so i shouldn't forget to put negative here as well negative here so limit is h approaches zero so negative 4x uh, 2h plus one so when we replace uh, by zero here it will just set we're ju just going to substitute two times zero that will be zero so zero plus negative uh, we can't have negative zero so zero plus one the same as one then yes we are left with negative 4x uh, plus one yes that's what we are going to be left with negative 4x plus one so the derivative our so final answer will be negative 4x plus one that's our solution then even if you can check this by using a power rule, using a power rule, uh, you know that uh, negative 2 times 2 will give you negative 4x. No? And here, when you say 1 times 1, that will be 1. 1 minus 1, that will be 0. x to the power 0 to 1. So it's true. Our solution is correct. So our solution at the end will be negative 4x plus 1. Hope you find that uh, you find you find it useful, right? So you just go step by step so that you don't you avoid uh, silly mistakes and so that you get all these five marks, right? We have collected five marks. Let's go to the second question. Second question is D of x. We need to differentiate in terms of x what are we left with? how many marks is it three okay so let's work out what is inside the bracket first guys to make our life simpler let's do this aside right so you have negative 5x no divided by root x so the root x you change it to uh, uh you, you change it to x half right so negative 5 divided by invisible one there we get negative 5 so one minus uh, the, the bases are the same one minus half that will be the same as half so we are left with negative five x half here so in other words we are going to put negative five x half so here we have a coefficient of one one divided by five is gonna be one not over five therefore uh, we have um what we call here we have x squared right okay this is what we are going to have. So to continue further, if we were to differentiate here, what are we going to do? To differentiate here, we supposed to say negative five, um, negative five times half. That will be negative five all over two, negative five all over two x. Then we need to say half, half minus one. We know that will be negative half then we also have one over five times two which will be two all over five then let's continue differentiating using a power rule subtract uh, two minus one that will be two that will be one sorry for that then we're left with x so hmm, yes if we were to leave this in a positive exponent we were supposed to be left with five all over two uh times one all over x half remember we have two all over five two two all over five x here so if we were to continue we left it uh, negative five all over two 
and um, it's all over 2x half, right? Minus 2 all over 5x. So because it's 3 max, you can end here. You can just end here. You can just end here. I was just doing this for enrichment, right? It was just for in enrichment. No? Then uh, let's go to um, the third um, question. This was 3 max as well. So probably here, this one it's 4 max. Sorry for that. This is for max so all in all yeah you're going to have around 18 marks right so when let's differentiate this first before you differentiate work out what is inside the bracket in this case so let's say x times x we can see that this is a difference of two squares right you can see that this is a factorization of a different two squares x times x there that will be x squared two times two uh, that will be negative and positive is negative we know 2 times 2 that's going to be 4 x times x that's going to be x squared right so if we were to continue further d sorry for that d all over dx then we know that this is x squared we need to fix uh, fix this so 4 divided by 1 that will be 4 then taking out this from a denominator will be negative of course x to be negative 2 so from there we can uh, just differentiate 1 times 2 that's going to be 2x here and 2 minus 1 we know that will be 2x negative 4 times 2 that will be positive 8 then um, negative 2 minus 1 that will be negative 3 so if we had to leave this in a positive exponent that will be 2x plus 8 all over x cube that's how it should be so that, that's how you guys you can work out um june paper 1 2022 hope grade 12 you are learning and uh, as you all know uh practice 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 makes it happen and laziness makes it hard see you on our next video where we are going to talk about maxima and minima yes as well as we are winning we are winning thank you thank you for those who are subscribing um we are on our road to 1000 subscribers uh share the videos and um yeah thank you guys uh see you